What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Margaret. I'm a Pilates instructor and a yoga teacher. And today we are going to be doing a nice little yoga flow. We're gonna go ahead and get started. If you wanna meet me back on your mat in a child's pose, it's gonna be a good spot to be. So go ahead and come to a comfortable spot. You'll bring the big toes together, open your knees out a little bit wider than your hips and then start to press your hips back towards your heels. We'll reach the arms out long right in front of us and then gently start to lower your chest and your forehead down to the mat. We'll take some deep breaths here in through the nose and then big exhale out through the mouth good with every inhale see if you can sink a little bit deeper into this child's pose maybe letting yourself um, come a little bit closer to your mat letting the chest sink down letting the hips press back i'll take two more deep breaths together On your next inhale, we'll walk both hands over towards the right side of our mat. We'll find a little bit of length in the left side of the body. And I want you to take your right hand. We'll find a half wrap. So right hand's gonna reach behind you. Cross it back behind you, reach for the top of your left hip. Now your left ear can rest down onto your arm. If that feels okay, go ahead and let it hang out there. And then just think about opening up through the shoulder and the chest. We find a little bit of a stretch through the front side of the body. Good. We'll take a deep breath here. And then on your next inhale, we take that right hand away from the top of the leg. We'll walk our hands back through center. Maybe sink a little bit deeper into that child's pose there. And on your next inhale, you go walk both of your hands over towards the left, this time finding some length in the right side of your body. You can let your right ear rest down onto your right arm. And we'll take the left hand, find a half wrap, reaching the left hand for the top of the right hip, opening up at the shoulder and through your chest. Keep breathing. We'll take one more big inhale breath. Exhale, let it go. And then on your next inhale, we'll take that left hand, bring it back around through center. Walk both of your hands uh, right to the center of your mat and we'll pull ourselves up into a tabletop position. You may have to walk your hands forward, maybe walk the knees back, kind of shake yourself around a little bit, rock the hips from side to side. Sometimes holding in a child's pose for a little bit can get a little tenuous on the hips. So take a second, rock it out, do what you need to do. And when you're ready, we'll take a couple rounds of cat-cow. We'll inhale to dip the belly down, draw the shoulder blades together, point your gaze just slightly forward. Good. We'll exhale to push into the palms of the hands, curve the spine, look back towards the tops of your legs. We'll do two more like that. Inhaling to dip the belly down, drawing the shoulder blades together, pointing your gaze forward. Exhale to push into the palms of the hands, curve the spine up, look to the tops of your legs. Good, we'll do one more. And then on your next inhale, you'll reset into your tabletop. Take a second here, shake out if you need to. We'll inhale to reach the right arm up, opening out towards the right side of the room. Your gaze can look up towards your fingertips. We'll exhale to send the right arm through, coming in to thread the needle. Right shoulder, right ear come down to your mat. Good, hips stay over the knees. And two options with your left hand. You can either walk your left hand forward, couple handprints on your mat, so you open up a little bit at the chest. You'll feel a nice stretch and release there. Second option is to take that half wrap, like what we did um, at the start with our child's pose. So you can reach for the top of the right leg with your left hand. Whatever feels good, whatever speaks to you, whatever's gonna get you into that stretch. Breathe in deep. We'll take one more deep breath here. 
and then on your next inhale, we'll take the left hand, wherever it is, go ahead and bring it back to your starting point. We'll take a big exhale to push into the palm of the left hand, pressing ourselves up and away from the mat, and then replacing the right hand down on your mat. Good. On your next inhale, same thing over on the left. We'll inhale to reach the left arm up, looking up towards those left fingertips. We'll exhale to send the left arm through, coming down onto the left shoulder, left ear, hips stay over the knees. And again, same two options with your right hand. You can walk your right hand forward a little bit on your mat. You can also take the right hand, reach it back behind you, reaching for the top of the left hip. Good, try to keep your um, feet and your low body as still as you can on the mat. I know I'm noticing my feet are starting to lift a little bit. Try to keep things still and calm. We'll take one more deep breath here. And on that next inhale, go ahead and bring your right hand back in wherever it is. We'll take a big exhale breath to push into the palm of the hand and just replace the left hand down on your mat. Take a little shake out through your body if you feel like that's what you need to do. Go ahead and do it, you have absolute permission. And on your next inhale, we'll take our right foot. We're gonna step that right foot in between our hands. We find a nice low lunge. Now for me, I like to walk my back knee and my top foot out a little bit wider than the hips, just so I can find a little bit more space. And you can keep your chest down on your leg, keep your hands down on the mat. See if you can push a little bit deeper into that lunge. So you feel that really big release to the front of your left hip. Good, take a deep breath here. And on your next inhale, we'll walk the hands up to the top of the right leg. I want you to push gently into the top of your right leg, opening up at the chest, rolling the shoulders down and back. Good. Good, take deep breaths. See if you can push a little bit deeper, really releasing into that left hip. On your next inhale, I want you to push away from the right leg a little bit. We'll inhale to reach the arms up overhead. I want you to grab for your right wrist with your left hand and gently we'll pull ourselves over towards the left, taking a little side bend. Left hand reaches for the right wrist. It's a gentle pull over to the left. Good, one more breath here. And then we'll drop the hands down. Your hands will come back to frame your right foot and we'll exhale to extend at the right leg, push the hips back. So we find our nice half split. Now for me personally, I like to rock a little bit on my front heel. That's what feels good in my body. So if you wanna do that, you're welcome to do that. If the hamstring flexibility isn't quite there for you today, that's fine. Keep your foot planted down. Just push back as far as you can, as far as you find it's comfortable for you. Good, nice deep breaths. On your next inhale, we'll reset into our low lunge. And I want you to walk your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Turn the right toes out a little bit. And we'll come into lizard pose. Now for me, I stay up on my hands for lizard just because that's more comfortable on my hips. But if your hips are a little bit more flexible, you can walk down to the forearms and take lizard from there. I can demo for you if that's where you want to hang out. You're going to feel a really big opening up at the inside of your right hip. For me, it gets to be a little bit too intense sometimes, so up on the hands is a really good spot to stay. Good, we'll take one more inhale breath here. And then on your exhale, we can walk the right hand back to the outside of the right foot, square the right toes off to the front of your mat. We'll step that right knee back. Doesn't have to be graceful. We'll just get there. Doesn't matter. Good. 
Reset into that tabletop. And again, just take a second, rock your hips from side to side. See how that feels. See what you need. Good. We'll take an inhale to step that left foot forward. So we come down into our low lunge. Again, just gently pushing the hips forward. So you feel a release through the front of the right hip. The hip flexor, you may start to feel um, a little bit of a release through the inside of the left hip as well. Just kind of depending on how tight your hips are. However you're feeling it is totally right. There are no wrong answers. That's the fun part about yoga. Good, on your next inhale, we'll walk the hands up to the top of the left leg, gently pushing ourselves forward a little bit. Deeper release in the front of that right hip. Good, opening up through the chest, rolling the shoulders down and back, reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Good. On your next inhale, we'll circle the arms around and up. You can press up out of that lunge just a little bit. This time we'll reach for the left wrist with the right hand and then inhale to gently pull ourselves over towards the right. So we get that nice big side bend. Big deep breaths, good. Good, on your next inhale, we'll break those hands apart. Bring your hands back down to frame your left foot and we'll exhale to extend the left knee, pushing the hips back so we come into our half split. Now again, completely dependent on your hamstring flexibility. If your hamstrings are gonna let you push your hips back further, rock back onto your heel. Good, just kind of let your body tell you what it wants to do today, tell you what it needs. You need to rock back a little bit further. If this side feels a little bit different, that's fine. It's not a big deal. On your next inhale, we'll pull ourselves back forward into that low lunge. I want you to walk the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Open those left toes out a little bit. So we open up at the hip. That's gonna give you more room to move. We'll head into lizard. Now, again, if you wanna stay up on the hands, if this is where your lizard is today, go ahead and stay here. If you wanna walk down to the forearms, you can do that as well. For me, it gets a little bit intense on the hip, but all of our bodies are a little bit different, so play around with it, see how it feels. The good thing about yoga is you can always try something, and if it doesn't work, come out of it. You know, make yoga work for you. We'll take one more deep breath here. And then we'll take the left hand, walk it to the outside of the left foot carefully. We'll step that left foot back so we come back through to our tabletop. And I want you to press your hips back towards your heel. So we almost come down into a child's pose. You walk your hands back. So we come through to a seated position. And then I want you to swing your legs around. So we come all the way down onto our butt. We're gonna take some postures from here. We'll start off in a figure four stretch. I want you to keep your left foot down on the mat. Hands come behind you. Take that right ankle, cross it over the top of your right knee. No, right ankle over the top of the left knee. Directions are hard. Sometimes I don't know right and left and that's not a big deal. Um, for me, I like to keep my hands right behind me just so I feel like I have a little bit of extra support. Just make sure you're not dumping down into the hand. So the goal here is to get your chest close to your leg so we feel that big release through um, the outside of the right hip. So you can just press up and away from the hands. Maybe you take the right hand, gently push uh, the right knee away from you. Good. I'll take two more deep breaths here. Good. On your next inhale, I want you to slide your left leg forward. Keep your right ankle crossed over the knee. We'll plant the right foot down on the mat and then we'll inhale to bring the arms around and up. Exhale, we'll twist towards the right side of the room and we'll hook the left elbow around the right knee. Grab for your left forearm with your right hand. So we give our right knee a little bit of a hug and we open the chest and the shoulders out towards the right side of the room. 
Now, if you're really feeling this twist, you can point your gaze over your right shoulder. That's gonna give you a little bit of a deeper twist and you'll twist all the way from the crown of the head to the tailbone. With every inhale, let yourself sink a little bit deeper into this twist. On your next inhale, we'll go ahead and come out of this twist the same way we came in. We can unhook the arms, reach the right hand behind you, release the left arm. And before we do anything else, I want you to take the left foot, bring it down to your mat so the left foot comes to the inside. Oh my gosh, the right foot comes to the inside of the left leg. Right and left, it never gets easier. Um, so we'll make a little four with the legs and we'll rotate our body so it's squared off towards the left leg. We'll take our rotated forehead to knees. Circle the arms around and up on your inhale and then exhale, we'll hinge the hips. Reach down for your foot. If you can reach your foot, awesome. If you can't, hands can come to the shins, hands can come right down to your mat. Just do what's gonna work for you. Forward folds never have to be huge. Never have to be. Now with every inhale, see if you can sink a little bit deeper into this fold. Let gravity do a little bit of the work. Sometimes challenging, we wanna be in control all the time. You don't have to be, it's okay. We'll take one more deep breath here. And then on your next inhale, we'll start to walk the hands back up. So we come up through seated and all we're gonna do is switch out the legs. So we'll take the right foot, put it out in front of you and then just bend the knees a little bit. I want you to rock your knees from side to side just gently before we hit the other side. Okay, so this time right foot stays on the ground. We'll take the left ankle, cross it over the top of the right knee. Now again, hands can stay behind you if you wanna take your left hand to your knee, you can gently push it away from you. We wanna stay open through the chest, roll the shoulders down and back, big deep breaths, keep your gaze lifted, pointed forward. Good, take some big deep breaths. Send a little bit of extra energy, extra breath into those spots that feel a little bit tight for you. Good, on your next inhale, all we're gonna do is slide that right foot forward, keep the left ankle crossed. We'll plant the left foot down onto the mat, and then we'll inhale to bring the arms around and up. Exhale, we'll twist over towards the left side of the room. We'll give our left knee a little bit of a hug, so hook the right elbow around the left knee, and then your um, left hand can reach for your right elbow or just hang onto your forearm. We'll twist out towards the left, opening up through the chest, through the shoulders, maybe pointing your gaze over that left shoulder so we really get a deep twist from the crown of the head all the way to the tailbone. And again, just with every inhale, let yourself sink a little bit deeper into your twist. Good. We'll take one more deep breath here and then we'll start to come out of this twist the same way we came in. We'll reach the left hand back behind us, unhook the right arm and we'll uncross the left foot. Bring the left foot to the inside of your right knee. So we open that knee out nice and wide. We'll rotate our body so we're squared off towards the right leg. Inhale to bring the arms around and up. We'll exhale to hinge at the hips forward fold. Reach down for your foot if you can grab it. Your shin if you can't, maybe the mat if that's not for you either. Just like with the first side, let every inhale bring you a little bit deeper into that fold. 
let gravity do some of the work, just letting your chest sink down into the mat. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, if your upper back rounds a little bit, that's fine. I want you to find the point that you feel the stretch and that you feel comfortable. And take things from there. Good, we'll take one more deep breath here. Then on your next inhale, we'll walk our hands back up the leg. I want you to swing your legs around. You can stay facing whatever way you're facing, but I'm gonna turn to face you guys. Find a cross-legged position, a nice comfortable seat. And we're gonna do a couple stretches through the neck and then I'll let you guys go. I want you to inhale, reach the right arm up overhead. Take the right fingertips, reach for the, so the left side of your head. Gently, we're gonna apply really gentle pressure. Tilt the head over towards the right. Your left hand can stay down on the mat or come to the top of your left leg. Just some gentle pressure. I don't want you to pull on your neck just so that you feel a release through the left side of the neck. Now keep your hand where it's at. Gently, we're gonna tilt our gaze down towards our right armpit. You can move your um, hand around a little bit on your head just so you get a little bit of an assist. Good. We'll take one more breath here. And then we'll drop our gaze down towards our chest. Your hand can come right to the top of your head. Gently push down, not crazy pressure, just gentle. You wanna feel a release right through the back of your neck. Good. One more breath here. We'll lift the head up, switch out the hands. Right hand can come down beside you. We'll inhale to reach the left arm up overhead, taking the left fingertips to the right side of your head gently. We tilt the head over towards the left, gentle pressure on your head, little release through the right side of your neck. One more breath and we'll tilt our gaze down towards our left armpit. You can move your hand around a little bit, find that point that you feel some comfortable tension. Good, and when you're ready, go ahead and tilt your gaze all the way down to your chest. Hand can come right to the top of your head. Gentle pressure to release at the back of your neck, so don't push on your head. Just gentle pressure, a little bit of support. Good, we'll take a deep breath here. And then we'll release the left hand, bring your gaze up. That is where I'm going to leave you. Hope you guys enjoyed this nice little stretch. It's a good break. I feel like we've been hitting it hard with the Pilates workouts. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you guys in our next video. I just can't resist you. You got me thinking love.